C'est la vie, c'est la vie. C'est la vie, c'est la vie. Oh, ok. Ah, c'est bien, bien Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Ok, but we have to rehearse now. Am I coining the phrase some years ago, American classical music as opposed to jazz? I'm not paranoid about the term jazz. What we have done with the Louis Armstrongs and the Ella Fitzgeralds and the Earl Garners and the Billy Strayhorns, we've sophisticated my term American classical music as opposed to European classical music. And the interesting thing about the people who work in the American classical field is that we, we both, we know both bodies of work. We have to study uh, the Bach, Beethoven, but we also study Duke Ellington, Art Blakey, and the wonderful uh, Sidney Bechet. We are multi-directional gentlemen. We're not one directional. So in order to be successful for what we're doing, you have to know something of both the American classical music and the European classical music. I started playing the piano at three years old, and that's very rare. You have some instances in which people start playing at that age. One is Earl Garner. I was playing professionally at 10 years old. I uh, certainly have been a leader for 50, 60 years. I've been asked to describe my music, and a lot of the uh, uh, comments have been made about my music that uh, I have space, and I have this, pauses, et cetera, et cetera, but Mozart had pauses, and Duke Ellington has pauses. That's a part of music. I have a certain amount of discipline. It's, it's discipline in force or use in my music. Without discipline, you don't have freedom. Music should be inside, not outside. I like Carnegie Hall, Massey Hall in Toronto, Kleinem's in Buffalo. I like uh, Sal Playel in Paris. I like music to be contained. I don't like music in a soccer field. Do I listen to a lot of music? I do listen, but I spend more time with my own work as opposed to listening to the works of others. But in fact, I have uh, been promoting uh, some of the younger musicians, so I do listen. My uh, approach to life is one that uh, you have to always pray that you're doing the right thing so you won't make the mistakes that we human beings are prone to make in everything we do, in a lot of our activities. I try and, and stay tuned and focus. The only way you can do that is to uh, pray to God that you will be rightly guided. What does music bring to my life? The question should be the reverse. What does life bring to my music? I don't care if you're Emil Zola or Chekhov or a Ravel or Ahmed Jamal or Debussy or Duke Ellington. We're only receiving vessels. We don't create, in my opinion. We only reflect creativity. Music brings certain things into my life and my life brings certain things into the music. It all works together, they're not separate.